how to increase RAM in Linux without actually increasing the RAM without actually installing new RAM all you need SSD drive or SSD hard drives or flash disks or whatever you have so I've got this SSD 128 spare SSD you can get the latest one with faster speed and better performance you can plug this into your motherboard or you can use one of these adapters to plug into a USB port so there are many options for this basically if you search in for SSD on the internet see there are plenty of options here I go to the shoppings the best thing is the good thing is you can go for a PCI Express Gen 4 NVMe SSD drive with one terabyte or you can go with the if you cannot afford this one or you can go to the SATA SSD drive because you can have that internally in your laptop or PC or you can have that with a uh, case like a plug-in into your USB uh, port so you can have any way the idea is if you have a SSD like this you can actually practically convert that SSD into RAM in Linux it's pretty straightforward I would recommend you go with the highest performance one so that you get uh, really high performance uh, it can be used as a RAM, basically it's a complementary RAM to your system. So I will show you how to do it. So I have, uh, as I showed you, my Aspire SSD, which has, uh, so the program you need is called GNOME Disk, uh, or Disk. You can find that program in, uh, in, in your favorite Linux distribution. I'm using Manjaro Linux. I am closing this one. So in a Manjaro Linux is called Golem Disk. Disk. Yeah, so this one. So all you have to do is install this program, or if if it's not already installed, that's it. So here this is my uh, Linux uh, partition where I have installed Linux, and you can see the Linux partition. Uh, I've got a NVMe SSD. Uh, attached to the motherboard plugged into the motherboard uh, socket uh, so this SSD is 500 gigabyte and I have got uh, 16 gigabyte RAM I'll show you that here in the Cert application as you can see I've got 16 gigabyte of RAM and also I have a swap partition of 16 17 gigabyte and you can see here what is what is interesting in Linux is um, the swap partition of the SSD uh, hard drive is also acting as a RAM complementary RAM. So if this RAM runs runs out, then Linux is gonna use uh, the swap partition space as a RAM. So, uh, so so in theory, in total, I have now 31 or 32 gigabyte of RAM, including the swap partition which is an SSD and quite fast enough nowadays SSD becoming faster and faster of course it's not gonna be quite as fast as RAM but it is still good enough uh, for many applications including gaming so since I plugged in this new additional hard drive uh, which is this 128 gigabyte and I'm gonna convert this 128 gigabyte SSD drive completely into a RAM. The way we do it is pretty straightforward as you have guessed. I was talking about the swap partition. We're gonna convert this uh, whole hard drive or partition as you can see into so currently we have NTFS uh, partition into this drive. All we gotta do click and deduce and format partition and go to the other next and we select Linux swap partition next in format now what happened what just happened here i just converted this whole 128 gigabyte ssd which is now currently plugged into 
uh, my USB port, um, USB 3 port using a uh, adapter. So this is the uh, the best would be to plug plug this into the motherboard socket so that it's faster. But anyway, it's gonna work. All I gotta do is now click on the display button, and as you will see now, this 128 gigabyte of the swap partition is gonna be added to my swap if i restart the cassette card application now boom now i have 135 gigabyte of swap partition and it's currently being used as a ram in theory in a, and also in practice now i just increased my ram to 100 a whopping 138 gigabyte plus 15 or 16 gigabyte that's all guys please give it a, a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this until next time bye bye